Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction to the Infinity Train Book 4 trailer. Um, it's coming out. There was speculation that a Season 4 was not going to be the case because of, like, bad, um, like, HBO Max ratings and stuff, which I'm... You never really see those ratings, so I don't know... I'm not a TV exec, so I don't know all this stuff, but, um... So, yeah... But there was speculation that there wasn't going to be a book four, but then there is, so maybe there was that whole thing of like, it got the two seasons and then they split them in half because there were 20 each, and this may be the last of it, but please, everybody watch this so we get more Infinity Train. Even if one season is not as great as some of the others, the next you know, season can always be better. It's an anthology series. It works great. It could go on forever. Hence the name. But whatever. People will do as they want. Unless it's a paid subscription. So I get it. But um, yeah. Let's uh, get into it shall we. Um, so let's. All aboard. <laughs> Infinity trade time. I will be 1-1. One, one. Uh, no. That's not his voice. Whatever. Anyway. I've made a goof. Oh. Why do you look like knockoff Kratos? And what the heck is that thing? Are you supposed to be a Star Trek? I don't know. Also, I don't know that what language they're speaking. <laughs> if that was was that just a name or was that a different language? I don't know. But either way, thumbs up. Yeah, th yeah, that kid is like just rock. You're David Bowie. I think you're more David Bowie than Kratos. Now that I'm looking at it more clearly oh my god okay so that was just a scene of their childhood and now yeah you've got the musician and you've essentially got their manager songwriter okay oh my god they have action figures of themselves I think interesting I, I love the like the just the painting style for the backgrounds and then the characters are done in you know digital animation and they're just interacting with it I like that I like that oh okay okay so they're going on the road to play in New York cool a bell okay ding 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 new character oh that's new well actually have we we've seen those kinds of jump shoot got jump shoots jump shoots I jumped and now I'm in a shoot I don't know what I'm saying but anyway uh, jump suits before right or something similar to it because I think one one he like was trying to put people in them when they entered the train but we haven't really seen that implemented as much. You know, the first two seasons that obviously wasn't a thing, but maybe it's a thing moving forward? I don't know. But we'll see. But they're in a frozen tundra with Bellman. Mill station. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all I remember was getting on a train and then on a second train <laughs> and then there was a third train and another train and I'm like am I at the station or am I in purgatory which is kind of purgatory in a way I'm they don't seem to be troubled or anything so I'm kind of wondering what how they ended up on the train and both of them so like I assume maybe they have a shared problem but maybe not. But what could it be? Is it that maybe they shouldn't follow their dreams? That it'll lead to problems? Or maybe it's the reason or how they left is the problem. Like maybe they left on bad terms with their families because they're chasing a crazy dream. Or maybe they stole some money to pay for travel. Or something I don't know hmm. oh okay 
Oh, so that's a thing that doesn't happen. Interesting. I mean, I never thought about it. I thought maybe the possibility was there, but... Hmm. Maybe that's also why they're in jumpsuits instead of, you know, just like in the pods. You know, like getting their info on, like, what this is and what, you know, like... This is a way to rehabilitate you on the problems that you had that led you to here kind of videos. So, hmm. Maybe they didn't, they were like, we can't cram them in two pods. Okay, give them jumpsuits. <laughs> oh, Lord. But yeah, so that's, that's a new thing. I like that. That's, that's what I like about this series. Every season is a little bit different. And that's what's great about it. That's why I said, watch this show. It's good. Not every episode is a gem, but overall each season is its own kind of greatness. Dang, they really are connected. Oh god, they're having a fight already, and they've been on the train for like five minutes. Oh god dang, come on, you have like ten episodes. Don't do this now. <laughs> mm, excuse me. Ah, better. <coughs> mm, okay, much better. Where were mortal enemies? Is it because of the whole the train incident, or is it something else that we're just not privy to yet? But like, they obviously got on the train together, right? I meant like the regular train, not the infinity train. This is a very perplexing plot line already. Ah, let's see, okay, yeah. Oh, this is cute. This is just bump. And then it's just like, oh, you know, and it's like, dang. It's like, sorry, these fingers are lethal weapons. Are they gay lovers? Is that their problem? That they don't want to come out and admit their feelings to one another. This, story, this series could do it. And now that they're on HBO Max and have probably a lot more freedoms than they did like when it was still airing on Cartoon Network, I think, yeah, th this might be the one <laughs> or the time when they could do that. But I don't know. Plus, Steven Universe had, you know, uh, same-sex couples all over the place. So, like... Maybe. And there's been other shows too, so. Felt a burp coming on. Ooh! Oh. oh. But I gotta go back. I'll go back. Okay, we got a big blue bird here in the woods. That thing's gonna kill somebody. Or what is this thing in the corner? It's like a purple spiked ball of death. Is there anything else? Let's see. I like I like this. This is kind of like cool, like with the light coming through the door and everything, and um, also, oh, come on, get 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 it. Nope. Uh, is it what? Yeah. Oh, there. That's what they are. So they are just like spiked balls of doom. But that one looked way bigger. Good lord. Also, you just have a thing of bark. Oh, it's probably to, because he was holding like a, like a tablet earlier. So he's probably just, it's like Linus. He needs his security object, I guess. But yeah, Big Bird, I, I, well, yes, you're, you're in a weird, I, I kind of like the Western world. I just love how you can tell what's supposed to be animated even in a screenshot like the the characters this uh, bug drawn wagon and the windmill because everything else is that paint like aesthetic that I like 
Yes, it is. Dip oh my god, this is the kitchen cart. <laughs> okay. It is like he's flying. Or falling. Okay, so just weird gravity in that one. Okay. I'm waiting for... Their numbers are not going to be synced all the time, I imagine. I think that's going to be a plot point. Like, one of them will progress, like, if it is the gay plot line, like I'm thinking it might be, that maybe that's um, where their numbers start to shift, where one is getting closer to actually confessing, and their number starts to go down, and then the other one's like, wait, what, why? And then they don't want to say it just yet. And, you know, that, like someone mentions the, like, the rules of the number to them. That it's like, oh, when you get closer to your resolution, your number will go down. And then they start wondering, it's like, what that is. And they may not catch on that it's their own feelings or something. This is just obviously all my headcanon, but that's kind of what I'm thinking might be the case. Unless it's that they need to give up on their dreams and do something else. That would be the sad one. What? Are those banditos? Oh my god, they're freaking bug people. So not only do they have just, like normal bugs that are like their horses and stuff they have bug people also what the heck is this you have like two freaking like rifle oh my god no those aren't that's not like a rifle barrel or anything and that aren't like regular handguns those are like those um like uh you don't really see them all that much anymore but like in old cartoons like the it's a fumigation tool it was like a pump spray thing and it had like a like usually a a horizontal tank on it that's what they use bug spray because everyone's a bug it makes so much sense um <laughs> oh, loving this background terrain with the mesas though love it so that's probably when they first came into the car and then they probably had a bit of a scuff with these guys made it into town that's probably why they were running in that one scene Oh, wait, was that the sheriff? What? What was on your hat, dude? Come on. Come on. Damn it. Oh, yeah, it did say sheriff. So you are sheriff of Buggingham. Okay, hello, space tower. God, the, the, the way... No, oh, no. Yeah, space tower. Lane starts here. Oh, my God, that's a... Why are these pe... Are they coming through portals? What are these blue things? I think that... Oh my god, don't tell me... Oh, there's some up here. There's, they're everywhere. Does that say hotel? Or just hole? H-O-L, it looks like. The diamonds. Or is it holo? Holo, holo. Um, I don't know. I'm confused. But this seems to be the hot spot where he's playing the guitar. Maybe? And these are all like space dudes because they all have, but they're like all the same. But yeah, I think that's all just one line, but they're in like a different, dim they're coming in and out of different dimensions and those are just portals. They're everywhere. Good Lord. That's too many people. Yep. I was right. I was right. It is. This place is much smaller on the inside than it looked outside. Huh. I mean, it's probably just one room, but still. Um, anyone thinking that this is the red guy from Among Us? Maybe it was inspired. I mean, that game's been around since I think it was like 2018 or something. So, maybe. <laughs> oh my god, I guys. Hello, I guys and coats. Also, look at those irises. Like, oh, those are those are some deadly things. I like you. Bones in the desert. Is this the same desert, or is this, surely this has to be a different car because it's they aren't bug related. So it's not the western car. This is just the the doom desert of the eyes and coats. God, they must be overheating.
Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what did you say? What did you say? Um. Wait, what? Okay, just some things that, like this has been here for a while if it has vegetation growing on it. And then museum, I kind of like the art. I, ooh, this just this reminds me so much of the one of the titans from Hercules, the Disney movie, the the tornado titan. Just like if he was all janked up. So this is just like the the art car, the museum car. Ooh, I kind of like that. It looks like a flower. And that looks like something out of like a how to draw space stuff that I got when I was in elementary school. That looks like something like that to me. If I ever find it, I, I may try and show people on video someday. Cause that, th that book's like over 20 years old. If I still have it, good lord. <clears throat> also, the little bell dude definitely seems to be their guide. So, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, sweet heavens. How much? So, someone almost falls off a cliff, and I'm guessing. Yeah, that's on a platform. So that's just how they execute people. It's like, screw hanging them. We're going to zap their asses. Zap them. Zap them. You know, which the thing, the sad truth is, is like back in like the 8, 17, 1800s, it, and even before that, it was actually a public event that people would actually actively go see a hanging. How morbid is that? I get that it was like something that was that wasn't going to happen every day, but like, why why would you want to go watch someone die? <laughs> but then these are the same kind of people that be like, oh my god, you just shot my husband in cold blood, and it's like, you just watched a man strangle at a rope who might have been innocent. You never know because the justice system sometimes wasn't so great. Um, but yeah. Also, how do you have your wings outside of your dress, ma'am? Hmm, interesting. Oh, we got the steward again. I love how it has, like, the flaming eyes. That's always been cool to me. <clears throat> okay, so that definitely... It, like, I'm not leaving you. One of them, seemingly, it is... I don't I didn't catch both of their names. Ryan is the the manager kind of dude and I can't remember what the other dude's name is. Um but yeah, glasses. I'll just call him glasses. Sorry if they said his name and I just don't remember all that well. Um <clears throat> But yeah, the uh well here, let's just wait until the There we go. Nice place to stop. At least for now. Um but yeah. Ryan, his number must have started going up or something. And then his buddy, he's like, I'm not leaving you because, like I mentioned before, I doubt it, their numbers were going to stay sync the whole time because of either their friendship starts falling apart, their potential love story, you know, something like that happens, maybe their dream. Those are kind of the big things I'm thinking you know, the friendship thing, I mean, that was maybe obvious, but the other two would be maybe more interesting on a personal growth level than just their friendship, you know. Because they seem to have had a friendship since they were young kids, and they're probably like in their eh, late, late teens, early 20s, it looks like, because it seemed like they maybe had their own apartment or something. And, you know, they're chasing their dreams and everything, so, yeah... Um, so they've been friends for more than, I'd say, ten years. So, that's a decent length of a friendship, you know, on average. So, it could be a friendship issue that they start, you know, drifting apart because of everything. Their dream, they start realizing that maybe it's not worth the effort, or at least one of them does. 
and that slowly just draws them apart or maybe that draws that person closer to getting off the train because they realize it's not going to happen it's a pipe dream or the whole love angle could happen not saying it won't but that's kind of the one i'm leaning more towards then dream and then friendship those are my three plot lines in what I would hope to see and what would be more interesting, to be honest, in the grand schemes of the show. But we'll have to wait and see, of course. And also, let's see what else this trailer has for us. Book four. Uh, let's see. Okay, and it starts exactly a month from today of this recording. On So, hmm. Okay, let's see here. And that is the end of it. Okay. So, yeah, we get to see their friendship a little bit. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be like a PDA or something? Or is he trying to pretend to be Star Trek? I don't know. <laughs> it kind of looks like something from Star Trek. And then we we see them whoop, later in life where they're, you know, trying to do their dream and everything. Now they're on the train two people at one time has never been a thing so that's why i'm thinking like there is a deep connection between these two that they may or may not even realize themselves which would make the whole like love angle thing a lot more interesting seeing how they got onto the train and everything was interesting um let's see the uh let's see here the fact that they both have the same number the different cars they're going to go to the the bluebird of death is what i'm going to call that car the the weird kitchen car so that's two there's um whatever let's see where is it okay i don't know what this one is this could be a third card that's completely unrelated. Let's see, is there any references in this? I see a mushroom, so Mario maybe? I don't know. So it could be a Japanese car or something. Because Japan got some mad vending machines. Like they have, you can buy all kinds of stuff in vending machines throughout Japan. So like that's potentially a third car. And then you have this like we'll call it like space tower where he does like a rock band thing with the the freaking uh i if this isn't an among us you know freaking reference i don't know what is also it seems like all the picture frames now that i'm looking at them again it's all people in suits like this very much the same style suit as well so I'm thinking that this whole cart is just populated with these same kind of guys um, then we've got uh, if I can get a picture there fifth car is the art car or the museum car then they use the magno boots at some point the Stuart comes back so, like, there's at least five cars that I can count, plus some, you know, reoccurring elements such as the Stuart. You know, again, we've got a traveling companion. We'll, uh, <clears throat> didn't see, like, Amelia or, um, or 1-1 one -one make an appearance, but I imagine maybe so because, like, the fact that two people came on the train, maybe they'll think that's like some kind of weird glitch because, you know, the train isn't really magic. It's more just sophisticated tech that's just kind of gussied up like magic. So Amelia or 1-1 one -one may make an appearance just to kind of check to make sure these guys didn't just... It was just like a random thing that they arrived at the same time, but, you know, for different reasons... Or that it truly is just a one in a million time of where it's two people, same problem. Because they're interconnected in that way. And, uh, yeah. And the number unsinking thing is going to be an issue that they'll have to overcome. And, uh, yeah. 
I think that about is all that I really saw and noticed. So, and I've already given, oh good lord, 25 minutes. Oh boy, this is going to be a long video. Sorry about that. But uh, anyway, if there's anything I, uh, also did I mention the bug world? I think I mentioned the bug. So it was like five or six, you know, different cars that we'll see. Probably more, of course, because sometimes they go through like a, uh, a montage. You know, which are always fun, but you always want to see more of those as well. But yeah, so... But yeah, please, everyone, watch this show. We need more of it. It's one of the better shows to come off of Cartoon Network in a while. So, you know, we need more of it. I hate that it went to streaming. But, you know... Because it's hard to just keep buying more streaming services. It's the culture we live in now. And I don't think anybody really likes that. Um, but yeah. So uh, just try and watch. the As many people as can. Please watch it so we can get more. I want a book. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Infinity. You know. So uh, yeah. But this one could be very interesting. I mean, every book has been interesting, so I hope the trend continues. The fact that they introduced yet another interesting element. You know, the first one was Tulip, and it was just to kind of get us introduced to the concept. Book two followed more so Lake than anything, but Jesse was there for the ride. We got to see aspects of the train we didn't get to see in book one. Book three was following the cult of the conductor, you know, with um, Grace and Simon and their stories and stuff. And that was cool. That was different. It wasn't just like the normal passengers and everything. And then, of course, Hazel and Tuba as well. And now this one is the first time when two people with seemingly a connected problem enter the train at the same time. So every every season is cool with its own different spin and i like that but uh <clears throat> anyway i think that's about all i have to really say about this please let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this anything i missed misunderstood please let all that good stuff um check out my other content see what you like suggest things for the future uh sub goal now is 500 500 500 um so if you can help out please do Links down below for the trailer itself and also all of my social media so you can keep up with my content so that, you know, you can follow along with everything I'm doing and keep up and make suggestions and stuff. And uh, I stream on Twitch where I do gaming. I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of uh, the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keeshlings. Please watch book four at all costs, please. We need more. But anyway, Infinity Train. Mm -hmm.